Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, we will learn how to design a beautiful birthday flyer in Photoshop. So this is what I'm going to teach you how to design today. The design you are seeing the screen. So that's what we are going to work on today. So without wasting most of our time, let's get started. So let's close this. Let's it. So the first, the first thing I'm going to do is to go to file. I'm using Photoshop CC 2015, 2019, sorry. So you can use any version of Photoshop you like. One of them will work very fine, okay? So if you open Photoshop, the where you, the first thing you do is to go to File, New, okay? So name this beautiful birthday. Beautiful birthday. Okay? So hit Create. Leave your leave every other every other settings to default. If you are using pixels or inches, anywhere you like, pixels or inches. Then hit create. Okay. So I will embed the link in the description below so that you'll be able to download all the resources I use for this project. Okay. So let's go. Let's bring in the backgrounds and everything I used for the project. So this is the background. I've already worked on the background. So this is the background we are going to use. Press enter. So this is the picture. I've already, I've already worked on the picture. Okay. So this is the picture. So you drag in the picture, expand it and fit it to your workspace. So I want it to be like this. So this is just this is the size I need it to be okay. So press Ctrl S to save. Always save your work so that you will lose your work if you're interrupted by lights or anything. Okay, guys, if today is your first time coming to my channel, please go to my channel and subscribe. Then turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. I hope you have done that. So let's continue. So I have bring in the background. I bring in the picture. Then let's start working on it. So I want to enhance this picture a little bit. So or let's leave it like this. Let's begin typing in our test. So I'll type in happy birthday. Happy. Okay. 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 Press Ctrl T for free transform. Take it under this picture. So I want it to be like this. So I'll be using a font um, Arizona. Uh, okay, Arizona, I think. So this is the name of the font I'll be using. Okay. I'm using this app for my fonts. I'll show you. The name of the font, of the name of the app letter, okay, font, font base. So the name of this um, app is Font Base. So it has um, a collection of fonts in it, okay. It will make it very easy for you to manage your fonts in it, okay. So, so this is the, that's the that's that's the software I use for my fonts, okay. So. The font we we'll use is Arizona. Okay, so let's type in, click uh, tests, uh, test two, go to the tests area, then Arizona, Arizona. Okay, so this is it. So this is the font I used. So let's increase the size. Press Ctrl T for free transform. Okay. Bring this picture down, press Ctrl T, increase it and bring it down a little bit, press enter. Okay, take this up, press Ctrl T for free transform, press enter, Ctrl S to save. So let's type in the other tests. Um, let's say 2204. Press Ctrl T for free transform. 
So I'll be using Nexa. That was one of my favorite fonts. I'll be using this Nexa. So let's use this as the day. The paid day dates. Okay. So let's type in the type in plus. Hold shift and press plus. You see plus on keyboard. Hold shift to press it, then type in one plus one. Okay. So control T for field transform. Keep it here. Then hook, hook control and keyboard. Let the plus and one press control G to group them. Okay. Press control S to save. So let's bring in a flower that is a flower I use for this project. So I also embed link where you can download it. Okay. So let me show you something. Let me open the this is where I downloaded you. I downloaded the font from um, the clip art from. So go here, download it. Let me show you something. Drag in, in drag in it in your Photoshop. So you notice it has background in it. Okay. So to get rid of this background, go over to this area, this place. So let this magic eraser to. Okay. So once it's selected, make sure the tolerance is at two, opacity is hundred. Then click to delete the backgrounds. Okay. So anywhere you see this white, zoom it in and delete it okay zoom it in make sure you zoom it in so that you won't delete the main flower itself okay so delete delete them all okay so zoom it in then get rid of this ones okay so sorry make sure you Target the white areas only, then delete. Okay, this is good. So I think we are good to go. So this that's what I did here. Okay, that's what I did here. If you look at my own, it doesn't have background. Okay, so this is how to achieve that. Okay, so can close any of them. Okay, so let's start using it on our on our, our design okay so select this patch 2 okay then highlight this highlight this okay drag it to your design so I want it to be somewhere here then close it if you can use the drive if you can use this um, patch 2 you can also use polygonal 2 Polygonal also to make selection like select it, select it, press enter, drag it to your design. So I want this to be at the back of the lady. Okay, so drag it under. So this is where I want it to be. So let's change the, this into a light. Okay, let's say I want to change the blending mode to. So I want it to be okay. Scream. I think scream is better. Control S to save. So let's bring it. Okay. Let's. Okay. I think that's all for for this. That's all for the flower side. Okay. Press Control S to save. So let's summarize this design. Hold Control Shift Alt then press E to merge all this layer to a single layer. Then go to your file camera row. Increase the clarity, increase the clarity very well, okay, so that our design will pop out more, okay. So, I think we are missing something. We need to add shadow to this happy birthday. So, delete this, I'll double click on this, drop shadow. So, this is the setting I used. Make sure it's normal opacity 11 angle 90 distance 24 spread 11 then leave the all the overages to default press ok so let's go back and apply merge all the layer hold ctrl shift alt then press e 
then open your camera up increase the clarity and this is good so go to this ACL adjustment increase the yellow okay sorry okay increase the yellow I think that's all press okay press ctrl s to save so hold ctrl shift then press s yeah, to save it as image okay select the jpeg then save it as image okay so let's locate our file so it's our desktop so this is it so this is the final result of this um, design okay guys if you learn something new today and you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can notify anytime i drop new video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll be happy to attend to your question thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye